Welcome back guys and today we are going to talk about next Bitcoin halvening and what that means for the cryptocurrencies. So the next Bitcoin halvening as you can see right here is happening in 726 days so in almost exactly two years and people think that Bitcoin halvening happens every four years but in the past it happened every about three and a half years and this is actually because Bitcoin halvening uh, happens half a year faster and Bitcoin halvening happens half a year faster usually just because the block times should be 10 minutes but most of the times they are just a little bit tiny amount faster than 10 minutes as the hashing power in the network goes up a Bitcoin network doesn't have uh, time to adjust to this new hashing power so if hashing power goes up by 1% and Bitcoin network doesn't adjust for the whole two weeks because it adjusts only every two weeks then block times are about like 9 minutes and 50 seconds 9 minutes 30 seconds and something like that so they are almost never 10 minutes or more than 10 minutes most of the times they are just a little bit less than 10 minutes so halvening happens every three and a half years and not four years as most of people think so the last halvening happened about a year and a half and we have about almost exactly two years uh, until the next halvening so right now on this side you can see that we have 17 million and 67 thousand bitcoins uh, in circulating supply so the total amount mined but few million of them were lost and especially with the early miners that had tens of thousands of bitcoins which they didn't take care of since the total value of those bitcoins was maybe like one dollar for ten thousand bitcoins so why would they even care about that so the maximum amount is 21 million as you know and the amount that we mined right now is 81.28 percent so in less than 10 years we mined 81 percent of total bitcoin that will ever exist and the total 100 percent will be mined by 2140 so we have more than 100 years of mining for the last 20 percent of the bitcoins so you can see that we have 3.9 million of bitcoins left and you can see all the data here if you want to check this out you can see it a link is down in the description so let's go to the controlled supply which you can check here also link is down in the description and over here you can see all the statistics for bitcoin halvening dates and uh, predictions so the Bitcoin started in uh, 3rd of January of 2009. You can see block reward was 50 Bitcoins per one uh, mined block. And right now it is 12 and a half Bitcoins. And when the next halvening happens, it will be 6.25 Bitcoins. So the first halvening happened over here. You can see 28th of uh, November of 2012. And then the reward dropped to 25 uh, Bitcoins. So the estimation was 2013 and as you can see it happened in 2012 just because the block times were a little bit faster than they should have been over here in the last column you can see that even before the first halvening ever happened we mined more than 50 percent total bitcoins that will ever be mined so we mined 56 percent of the total bitcoins just in the first three and a half years so this is amazing and you need to realize how fast we are mining those bitcoins and how hard the reward will drop and people will have to fight maybe like in 20 30 years just to mine one bitcoin for months and months with thousands of gpus which you can now mine within one month but then you will probably have to fight for it for a year and if bitcoin price doesn't go up uh, just because of that then i really don't know what is going on because uh, when people are spending millions of dollars just to mine one bitcoin then also the price should be at least a little bit more than the money you have to spend on electricity so the last halvening we ever had was over here 9th of june of 2016 when reward dropped to 12.5 bitcoins per one block so let's just check how pr price of bitcoin reacted with this halvening so 9th of june of 2016 let's just find it here june so price was about 700 dollars when the halvening happened and price actually didn't move almost at all for the next one year so bitcoin halvening doesn't mean that price of bitcoin will go up just because the halvening happened as you can see right here price stayed between 700 and 1000 dollars for many many months for almost a year and the price exploded uh, more than a year after that to 20 thousand dollars so halvening doesn't mean that price will go up but it means that price to uh, produce one bitcoin has to go up and uh, more people will have to quit mining just because they have maybe expensive electricity and overall the price uh, should increase just because the electricity needed to mine one bitcoin is increased so 
Let's take a look at some more statistics over here on controlled supply. You can see that uh, by the 2024 we will have 93% of all bitcoins mined and this will be uh, when, uh, when we are close to 5th heaven. And the uh, 4th halving will happen over here at 630,000 block when reward will drop to 6.25 and the next one will be at about 850,000 block. Where here you can see more detailed statistics and they are separated in eras. So, reward error 1 is when block reward was 50, and this is before even the first halving happened, and you can see we mined 50.000006 bitcoins in this era. So this is at least amount that should have been mined, but we mined, as you have seen, a little bit more than that. So the next halving we are expecting is over here, uh, at block error 4, 6.25, then 3.125, then 1.562, and you can see how fast we are dropping with every single block. So in just about uh, not even uh, 20 years, we will be over here at number 7 and the reward will be 0 0.78 uh, bitcoins per one block instead of 12.5 we have right now. So the reward will be about 5% or 6% of what we are having right now. And just by that number, Bitcoin price should go up at least 20 times uh, because of the amount of electricity you need to spend for to mine one Bitcoin. So if price would go up 20 times and the cost to mine one Bitcoin right now is about $6,000 on average, that means that in 20 years the minimum amount Bitcoin should be worth is $120,000. And I think it will be more than that, but we will see. But $120,000 will be uh, the cost to mine one Bitcoin if the hash rate stays the same it is now. But of course if hash rate goes up more than that, if hash rate doubles and rewards go down so so much like you can see right here that will happen then the cost to mine bitcoin will be even more just because of a competition and let's take a look at the last two rewarded eras and you can see over here at era 32 that 99.9999 percent of all bitcoins will be mined and over here we will just be fighting for one block for one satoshi and i'm not sure if anyone will be mining over here for one satoshi per block but if that actually happens and we are maybe all alive in 100 years, it will be really interesting to think about it that you now have to spend so much electricity, so much uh, hardware or whatever we will use then to just mine one Satoshi and right now you can get millions and millions of them. Even though millions of Satoshis is not a lot right now, but uh, then people would have to mine for years and years just to get a few thousand of Satoshis and one Satoshi reward per block will be amazing to see and that should happen in about 2140. So what will happen when we mine the last Bitcoin available or the last Satoshi available and the circulating supply is at exactly 20 million Bitcoins. So there will be no more block rewards like we have right now. Only reward that you will get will be rewards from fees that people send transactions. So uh, if people send a lot of transactions in that time period of 10 minutes, if the block time stays at 10 minutes, then you will get all of those fees as reward. Right now you get fees plus the block reward, but uh, then we won't have any more uh, block rewards, only fees. And if a fees will be maybe over here at era maybe 29, you can see that block reward is 37 satoshis, fees should be a lot, a lot lower than one satoshi. So we will probably have to add even more dead small places because if fee will be a minimum of one satoshi and you are just fighting for 10 minutes to mine 37 satoshis, then fees would be way too high, especially if price of Bitcoin will be in millions of dollars. So a lot of things will change with Bitcoin in the future, but this is 100 years in the future and we are not even sure how the Bitcoin uh, protocol will look like and how mining will even work in 100 years. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you want to see in another one and see you soon. Bye.